Hello, my friends, Dr. Nikki here, and I am joined by Julia Grace. She is the founder of Alma, which is addressing loneliness through movement and arts. She's also a licensed psychotherapist and expressive arts and movement therapist. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited that you're here because she led the most incredible experience I've had in a uh, It was just magical. Basically, on the beach, it was a silent disco, so we had headsets. And there was a DJ there, and Julia guided us through this whole meditation and movement and releasing energy, and it was magical. All as the sun set, and we were in the water. It was just really, really special. Mm. Yeah, and I, I couldn't believe how much I got out of it. Like I really let go of like being, you know, afraid of people watching and judging me. Yeah. Um, to like downloading my business plan and that's right. It's fascinating. That's right. I loved it. So tell me, what, what is this movement? What what is it about? Yeah, sure. So Please. it's called the Wave Silent Disco, and um, it it's no accident that you had both a release and also this inspiration because in a lot of ways it is a moving meditation, and so you're really calming your limbic system. You're getting into a place where you're your brain is actually in a calm state so that your frontal lobe can actually come online and that's why we sometimes have these like amazing creative ideas coming through when we're actually doing something other than trying to figure it out when we're in nature when we're in a creative process when we're in a flow state um, that's often when the creativity comes through and so I always say it's one of the most productive things to do for your business is to actually go dance going to nature and um, it really came out also, it's a healing modality. So movement can be used to heal. A lot of our trauma and memories are stored in the body. And so, and it's also energy, our life is energy. And so energy can be stuck in the body. And when we move it and when we move it with intention, we can allow that energy to release, to transmute. And really when we release energy, it doesn't just disappear. The law of physics say that energy doesn't disappear but we can transform it. So we create space in our bodies to then think about, well, what is it that we do want? How do we want to direct our energy now? And so we can actually direct the energy into more productive things in our life, like feelings of joy and compassion and love after releasing and letting go of tension and resentment and anger and depression. Um, and in no way also, I just want to say, um, that movement is just like this bypassing of like, well, let's just get rid of anger, let's just get rid of depression. You can also dance with those feelings and actually give them a voice mm -hmm. through movement. So like, what would anger dance like? What would depression dance like? Yeah. What would your grief dance like? Like, what, how does it want to move through your body? And simply by giving it a voice through the body, you give it an opportunity to be heard and to just like allow that energy to move through you. Huh. We always say the issues are in the tissues. <laughs> and when it. you feel, you heal. So that's what we're doing at The Wave. Oh, I love that. It's funny you said that before uh, you mentioned I had had so much trouble trying to force what I was trying to accomplish or business plan wise. And when I just let it go and let go of the fear of worrying about what's going to happen, yeah. it, it totally came through so exactly. clearly. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is like our brains, when we're in a state of fight or flight, um, the frontal lobe is desi we're designed in a way to protect ourselves and to continue to survive. So if we're in a state of fight or flight, our brain is literally like n there's no time to make like creative decisions. There's no time to like figure things out. You just got to run or if you freeze. Right. And so the brain is designed in that way where the, the limbic system, the inside part, the, the reptilian part of the brain, if that's activated, the frontal lobe part of the brain that is making the decisions, the executive functioning skills, it actually goes offline. Right. So it's no wonder when we're like in a state of stress, we can't solve some of the most simple things. We're like, we're just all over the place. But when we calm down and allow our bodies to feel safe and grounded, all of a sudden it's like, boom, the frontal lobe's back online and all these ideas are coming through, so. Yeah. You definitely create such a safe place too. You're a, you're a master at it. Like, oh, thank you. you really are you're good at making everyone comfortable and it's also because you show up just like ready to rock yeah. it you know and it gives permission to everyone else to be free yeah and that's it's what really we're special. doing for each other um, at the wave it's really about 
reconnecting deeply with yourself with each other and giving yourself like it's, I, I really see dance as a metaphor so the way that you show up and at the wave is really how you're showing up in life so if you're showing up a little bit timid and like where else in your life are you restricting yourself from fully self-expressing yourself so yes of course it's this dance class or this it's not really a class it's an experience but it's really just an experimental playground for the rest of your life so if you can practice letting go a little bit on the beach, you might have an easier time letting go in life. If you can practice doing something different, connecting with someone in a more playful way, maybe you can play a little bit more in your life. If you can practice pausing and breathing and watching the sunset and really feeling the senses of the wind and the, and the sand, maybe you can pause a little bit more and appreciate those smaller things in life when you're off of the beach too. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that. What happens on your mat also happens off your mat. Exactly. And here it's like what happens on the sand happens off the sand. I love it. So true. All right, tell us about the seniors, what you're doing with the seniors. Sure. That's really magical. Yeah. So, well, it kind of all ties in. So the wave silent disco is really a movement about connection and about ending loneliness. So we all feel a sense of um, that, that feeling of, wow, like, am I going through this alone or that sense of being alone. And so the wave really um, allows us to reconnect with ourselves and it also allows us to think of about those that are lonely in our society and some of the most isolated humans in our culture are our older adults and so um, it's incredibly touching for me to go and bring individuals that come to the wave as well as just expanded community and often kids I bring to visit seniors in nursing homes um, there's a statistic that about 60% of seniors in nursing homes are not visited and then about 43% develop depression um, because they're, they're alone and isolated and they don't have a purpose anymore. And the way that we, you know, it's a circle of life, you know, seniors and elders want to feel like they're needed still, that, that their wisdom is being passed down. And so when we visit them, they have the opportunity to share their stories, to share their wisdom, Aww. to really feel like they are being a contribution. And the way that we connect with them through um, my program that I've created with the seniors, which is called Alma, as you introduced earlier, is through movement and arts and music. And for the reason for that is because it's a universal language, and it's a language that we can use no matter what age we are, culture we are. I mean, I've had groups where it's been all Chinese speaking, and we've still been able to connect through dance and through music. Huh. And so through the use of mirroring, which is a dance movement therapy um, technique, where you mirror someone else's movement, you allow them to feel seen and that as they that really heard and that they belong. That's also a technique that we use at the wave in the beginning of the wave. Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to introduce yourself. You introduce yourself with with your own gesture of how you feel at that moment. It's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, how can people learn more? Because I know you're just trying to raise some money for the Alma mm -hmm. Foundation, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. So. Um, Yes, the Alma um, Alma is a nonprofit that's connected to UCLA Arts and Healing, which addresses all. It's a social emotional pr um, foundation that addresses social emotional needs through the arts. So, as a dance therapist and expressive arts therapist, um, I, what I studied was how do we use creativity and art to really connect to ourselves deeply and to heal, um, to use it as a, in a therapeutic way. So, we're licensed psychotherapists and. Through the use of art and creativity, we learn how to express feelings that are harder to put into words, sometimes even trauma um, that might not even be safe to just go right into. Um, we slowly allow ourselves to express it through the arts. And in that way, we've externalized it, and it's much easier to relate to something that's challenging when it's not like in here, that it's out here. And there's also symbolism. Oh, right. And it's like, um, we all have the feeling of music changing our emotions. So you, you kind of are familiar with that, like different music will shift your emotions. So sure. it's also giving that control back to the individual of like, oh, I don't have to be a victim to this. I can shift my state of being through through the arts and through the body and through the breath. And, yeah. um, and the way that you can learn more is through almamovement.org or follow us on Instagram at almacares. And the silent disco is at the wave silent disco on Instagram and thewavesilentdisco.com. 
Um, we are definitely always looking for volunteers if you're inspired by this and would like to see. A lot of the people that come to volunteer with us actually um, get a lot out of it. You think you're going there just to give to the seniors, but you leave feeling so fulfilled and we actually were bringing kids that were at risk in addiction treatment oh, wow. and UCLA has done a study over a year that showed that their self-esteem increased their depression decreased just from visiting seniors once a week wow. so that act of being of service getting ourselves out of our out of this out of just our stuff and caring for others has been shown to help with depression and so that's that there's just so many elements to it really right. yeah. um, but I highly recommend you join us we go once a month in LA and I'm looking for people that want to expand it out to wherever you live i um, gonna do a free training soon so if you're interested um, nice. please reach out to me um, through the website or Julia at the wave movement.com we'll be doing a training for both the wave silent disco as well as um, to do the work in the senior homes. Uh, so wonderful. It was so, we watched that video and we saw this one older man put on the headphones and he yeah. lit up, like you could see he hadn't lit up in a while and it yeah. was just beautiful. Well, something I realized is like, I, it was a complete accident that Alma, I, I named it because it's an acronym um, for addressing loneliness through movement arts, but then I learned that it also stands for soul. And it's, it's true, you know, when we connect through music and art, we're connecting to our soul and we're connecting mm -hmm. soul to soul with another. And so age just disappears and you start forgetting mm -hmm. how old you are. And so these 90 year olds are just like, all of a sudden they're filled <laughs> with vitality and energy. Yeah. And it's like, almost like, you know, prescribing, prescribing music as, as medicine. Yeah. Um, allowing allowing the nurses to see what these seniors are actually capable of. I have a lot of nurses that are like, wow, like I didn't know they could do that. I didn't know that they were full of energy. They're usually uh. sleeping. And so it's really um, the power of music and, and movement is profound. So I love it. Yeah. You are such a bright light. I'm thank so you. happy that I've connected with you. Yeah, thank yeah. you so thank much you. for having me and for seeing and, uh, you know, the power of music and dance. Uh, and sharing it with your with your audience. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Absolutely yeah. my pleasure. Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.